In today's Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstration, I'm going to show you how to multiply cells. So here we have a very basic sales spreadsheet. So let's say you want to multiply some information here for stamp. So in B11, so you want to press the equals key on your keyboard. So let's say you want to multiply a single figure. So you'd highlight the single figure and then you press shift and eight. This is the multiply symbol. Then you can select another cell, what you want to multiply by. So you can change the format here. This is multiply these two cells. So you come over to format cell and then select the data format and we'll select currency. So that's two cells multiplied together. So we double click it, brings back up the function and we can take out that second cell and then you can enter a number. So for instance, two, and that multiplies the first cell by two. So let's quickly get rid of that. That's two different ways how to use multiplication within a spreadsheet. So let's say you want to predict Stan's sales for the rest of the year. So in B, 11 we press the equals key again then we'll type in sum then we'd highlight all of stand sales then you want to click the other side of the close bracket then you want to press shift and eight to multiply and you want to press four so three times four is 12 months so 12 months of the year and this is stands predicted yearly sales if he hits these sales at the top and then you can click within stand cell and then press this little yellow symbol and then drag it down this will drag the function into all these other boxes and as you can see clicking through each name the function corresponds with the name above now if you want to edit this function you can double click so for instance here on stands we can change this four to eight if you want to change it for two years and again we can drag it down so these are all predicted sales over two years so that's a couple of different ways how to multiply within apple numbers hope you found that video helpful and if you did check out this playlist here where we have many other Apple Numbers spreadsheet demonstrations ranging from beginners to more advanced and thank you for watching.